Well, hello everybody. Good morning. I uh, just wanted to show you the, the progress on the garage. Uh, we're almost done. Uh, right now I'm in the process of painting. And I'm um, painting the actual garage door. And the reason why I'm painting that garage door is because it was like a tan color. But I wanted to transition between the colors. I guess I'm just anal like that. But uh, I wanted to show you real quick on, on the progress of the garage. So here we go. So, went ahead and got the uh, shake siding from Hardy Plank on, on the on this front end. I went with that because several years ago I went ahead and purchased that. And I was just up in the attic of my of my garage, just sitting there. So I said, okay, I'll go ahead and use utilize that. And to be honest with you, it would have been far quicker if I would use vinyl siding instead of that stuff. That was a royal pain to get that done. But you can see why I went with two different colors, because you had the steel gray, the bright white trim, and I was going to go bright white with the garage door, the siding, and all that, and I just got to thinking, that's way too much white, and that wouldn't look right at all. So I went ahead and went with a couple steps up, I went down to Sherman Williams, got the steel gray, and then I went with a monorail silver. That's what that color is right there. So you can see how it transitions between the, the darker gray and the lighter gray. And then you have the bright white trim. And right now what I'm doing is I'm painting the garage door the same color as the siding up here, monorail silver. And so uh, right now, you guys are going to laugh at me, but I'm using a big brush. And I'm using a big brush because I get a little impatient because I don't have a lot of time and so bigger in this case is better <laughs> it's very better you know <laughs> I probably used wrong English right there but anyway bigger is better when you're painting a garage door a 16 by 7 garage door so all you painters out there I'm probably doing it wrong but so what so anyway I'm going to show you how I'm doing this. If I can get this set up right here, that should do it right there, hopefully. Yeah. Hmm. I ain't going to do it right anyway. <laughs> Well, it takes me long enough to get it, get the camera all set up. Hmm. There we go. Hopefully if I can do this very carefully. <laughs> there we go. All right. John's garage painting with big paintbrush. <laughs> So anyway, um, I'm not going to bore you with me painting the whole garage door. That would be nonsense. But uh, this is what I'm using on the outside. If you guys can see that, it's uh, by Sherman Williams. It's an exterior primer. And I'm going to go ahead and paint the whole garage uh, door like that. And then I'm going to do uh, maybe a couple top coats, depending on how thick it goes on and if it stays put. So anyway, <laughs> anyway. So this is the extent of everything that's being done right here and we got the front end of this garage uh, door. I think I just might clean that but uh, I went ahead and had to put a, a deadbolt lock in. I had to uh, drill another hole for that, put the trim up and 
I caulked everything. If you can see that uh, white caulking in there. I went to Sherman Williams and got a 950A exterior caulking. That stuff is awesome. As a matter of fact, all Sherman Williams paint is awesome. Uh, that's all I ever use on my house is that. Because now that I found a good product, people are different in, a, uh, different in opinions, but that's okay. I just found something that works for me. If you find something that works for you, go ahead and utilize it. So I'll show you the rest here. Right here on the outside is steel gray again. And up underneath, bright white. And if you can see right here, um, I did, uh, my father-in-law helped me. And my darling wife also helped paint. But uh, anyway, um, that's an 8 by 8 by 16 block there. That's two core. The block that the uh, garage was originally built with was a three core block. So this originally had a window here. But I've said many times before that these snot ghost kids that were walking down the alley busted out the window, so we blocked it in. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I watched a ton of YouTube videos on how to put mortar down, you know, uh, tuck point and do all that stuff that those block layers do. And I mean to tell you, man, they make it look so easy. I picked up that uh, trowel and I put that mortar in there, slapped it in, there, and I was going to run it down the sides like those guys, those bricklayers and uh, people who lay block for a living do. And guess what happened? It, <clears throat> right down on the floor. I'm like, oh man, I wasted more mortar on the floor than I did actually putting it on the block, if you would believe that. Go figure. So anyway, um, the back end, some, same way, we did monorail silver on the top, and then we put flashing uh, on the top edge of the block, and the reason why we did that is because if you look very carefully, the block is starting to bow out, and that's because of the age of the garage. If to do it properly, I'd have to take down several courses and build it back up and fill the, the cores in with uh, mortar or uh, for, with concrete, and that wouldn't be right. So it would take a long time and you know this garage project has been going on for a while I couldn't have done it without the help of my father-in-law and also my darling wife uh, who also helped out a big thank you to the both of them because I'll tell you what I, I would still be painting this Armageddon would be here and I'd still be painting it be like no let me finish it before you th <laughs> that would be me so anyway that's the extent of my garage project so um, Anyway, I'll keep you updated, and when I get it totally finished, I will send another video. So everybody have a nice day, and I will definitely talk to you later. Bye.